What are you doing? Why are you lying there watching time fly by? Hey, you! Wake up! Wake up! Okay, good, good. Now that I have your attention, I need you to get up and stay vigilant. You are going to spy on them, study their behaviors and every step they take. Why? What do you mean why? That's a stupid question. You said you wanted to understand yourself better, didn't you? Did you think you would accomplish that by staring at a clock all day? No. You need to see for yourself what they do, where they look, watch how they entertain themselves, where their minds fly to. Study their symbols and try to understand what they mean. Look at their houses. What can you see? See how they cover everything, even their windows? What are they hiding inside? What are they scared of? Maybe the outside world is not that amusing after all. Maybe that is why they build their houses square and with straight lines, to contrast with the scary unpredictability of the outside world. The randomness and weird shapes everywhere. Have you ever thought that that is probably the reason why they box themselves up? Fear of the unknown. It's funny how trying to avoid danger, they are actually diving head on towards even more danger. The house rules over them, forces them into tasks that they otherwise would not do. Cleaning, maintaining, I would go as far as to say the house could cast them out if it's so desired. Oh. Interesting shot. That is abandoned, that building right there, which makes for a good photo with that tree being lit from the side there. So you have the branches that are very um, defined and also that post on the right side of the... wandering the streets with nothing left but a few possessions they can muster. They even built boxes to get cover while they go around the city, even name them cars. Can you imagine? I don't know who did, but some god of some sort gave them legs to walk, and they preferred to sit on their asses all day long. Just ludicrous. Maybe the sunlight is a problem. They seem to struggle a bit with the light. I wonder if it hurts them in any way, physically or psychologically. And, uh, well. Yeah, I, I record videos for uh, YouTube and stuff. And so you are a YouTuber? Yeah, and I do photography, so these are photography videos. Do I take pictures. Yeah. Uh, what type of... Uh, huh, funny. Here I see the uncommon denominator. The man with the street as his house. Maybe he got casted out by his house. No, no. I sense this one chose to be here. Not scared at all of the unknown. That he chooses to live surrounded by it. Clever and brave. No locks, no doors and the biggest window in the world, that of the imagination. It wanders freely without chains, outside the confinement of rooms with doors. Watching time go by is similar to watching a smoke burning, or a bus, who always has a final stop. The clock ticks until its last one for each one of us, 
so make sure to make each tick count. Focus on one thing at a time, finish it, and start another one. Ask for directions whenever you need to, and never lose track of where you are going. If you are in the shadow, strive towards the light. It will help you battle the unknown. Focus on the good things each day brings, and find the beauty in it. Wandering the street is for those brave enough to fight for what they want. And you, or rather, I, am here for it. I finally understand what you meant. I view myself in each and every one of these people. Some remember me of my past, or present, or even future. After leaving the house, I am no longer scared, but hopeful. I'm glad I got rid of that damn mind box. Good things will come. I still had my wristwatch on and saw that it was 11 p.m. I took Irene around the waist, I think she was crying, and that was how we went into the street. Before we left, I felt terrible. I locked the front door up tight and tossed the key down the sewer. It wouldn't do to have some poor devil decide to go in and rob the house at that hour and with the house taken over.